Working in partnership with helicopter operator group Heli Offshore, Sikorsky is introducing new flight crew operating manuals for its S-92 and S-76D aircraft. This extends the use of FCOMs as a way to enhance safety in the rotorcraft world. The FCOM is a real step forward in giving standard operating procedures for use across the whole of the global offshore industry, and that means we can give our crews the best procedures and the best training possible. The FCOM takes us further than we've been before because we now have one standard manual instead of operators producing different manuals in different operations around the world. This means that we can feed back from our uh, offshore operations back to the manufacturers and they can compare what they're seeing from different operators in one standard. FCOMs are not mandatory and they can be adjusted by operators to include specific procedures and training. Heli Offshore represents operators and supports the oil and gas industries, helping to improve and ensure common safety standards in some of the most challenging operating conditions in the world, and at a time when the industry also faces serious economic challenges. The kinds of things that the offshore industry is focusing on are ensuring that the new technology can be used um, by the pilots in the very best way. Uh, we're even doing some research into eye tracking, where we use eye tracking goggles to see where the pilots are actually looking and how they use the system so we can optimize our training and procedures. We're looking at things like how the helicopter gets released into service and ensuring that it's ready to fly and thoroughly checked out before it ever takes off. And we're looking at things like ensuring that the information and data about how the helicopter gets used in service is fed back to the manufacturers to influence future design, future procedures, and future training. The whole purpose of Heli Offshore is ensure that we're working together across the industry to focus on those things that are going to make the greatest difference to the front line. And we've got a set of safety priorities. You can see them on our website, but they include things like ensuring that we get best use of the automated tools and technology that we have in the aircraft these days, ensuring that we've got early identification of any potential system failures before the aircraft takes off, and ensuring that we've got effective exchange of information across all stakeholders so that we can see any patterns or trends emerging and address issues. Sikorsky intends to extend the implementation of the FCOMs beyond the S-76D and S-92. We look at this as we are just at the beginning of a lifelong trend on, uh, on the FCOM, and we are gonna continue to make updates. We're gonna use input from industry and then come out with yearly updates to that document for all the users to use. We took our rotorcraft flight manual, which is basically how we fly the aircraft. It gives a lot of pilot instruction. And we, based upon that, along with the intent and design of the aircraft, we built a document that takes you all the way from startup procedures right through shutdown procedures and even emergency procedures. There's actually no change to the aircraft or for the operators. This is just meant as a secondary guide that they can use in order to help improve safety, improve standardized procedures while operating the aircraft, and gets the design intent that the engineers at Sikorsky meant for that aircraft in the hands of the operator.